Today we're going to look over one of my previous Bluetooth speaker projects. I built the speaker pretty much as just a proof of concept, and there's a lot of things that work really well, but there certainly are things that need to be improved. I'm going to go through some of the design philosophy, as well as a majority of the components I used, just to kind of give you an idea of why I built this thing the way I did. So let's first get started with the cabinet. I used half inch Baltic birch plywood, which is a pretty typical speaker construction material. Birch plywood is typically lighter than MDF, but it is almost double the cost. I rounded over every corner on the box with a quarter inch roundover bit on a router table. And then I sealed the outside of the box with just three coats of water-based polyurethane. Now the battery and amplifier I'm using are actually the exact same components used in the Parts Express Bluetooth speaker kit I built in a previous video. This 2.1 Bluetooth amplifier board is rated to do 200 watts RMS at 24 volts, but since I'm running it at 12 volts, it's actually closer to about 100 watts RMS. I mounted all the amplifier and power components to a recessed steel plate on the back side of the cabinet. This is really the main thing that needs improved about the speaker. The steel plate adds a necessary weight, and since it's on the back side of the cabinet, it's kind of hard to reach. Now let's move on to the speaker drivers. This thing has a total of 5 active speaker drivers and 2 passive radiators, so this thing quite literally does pack quite the punch. I laid the front baffle out in an MTM configuration. Even though it does have a stereo amplifier, I laid everything out basically as a single channel because I didn't really think you'd be able to hear the stereoscopic effect in a speaker this small anyways. The mid-range woofer I decided to use is the Eminence Alpha 6C. This woofer has more aggressive waterproofing on the cone to help with durability, and it's 4 ohms. Since the amplifier is rated to do 4 ohms, the lower impedance really helps get the most out of that little tiny high efficiency amplifier. Keeping with the high efficiency theme of the speaker, I decided to go with the Eminence APT Super Tweeters. These certainly aren't the best sounding tweeters on the market, but for their cost and the fact that they're made in USA makes these a great bargain. So since I don't know how to design speaker crossovers yet, I'm just using off the shelf Dayton Audio 2A 3.5K crossovers, since that's a recommended crossover frequency for the APT Super Tweeters. Now there's no attenuation built into the crossover for the tweeter, but you can use the treble adjust on the amplifier to get this thing sounding really flat. Now let's move on to the built-in subwoofer. I decided to go with the Dayton Audio Classic 6.5 inch subwoofer. These aren't too expensive and you get a pretty good amount of efficiency out of them for how low the FS is on this tiny little driver. Since this is a 2.1 speaker and not a 3-way speaker, the dedicated subwoofer needed its own dedicated airspace so it didn't cause any cancellation with the mid-range woofers. I mounted the subwoofer driver on the bottom of the cabinet and the passive radiators on the sides of the cabinet because that's really the only place that they would fit. Because the subwoofer driver is mounted to the bottom of the cabinet, you can't really set this thing on any soft surfaces or on like grass or something like that because it will interfere with the driver moving back and forth. The next version of the speaker I build will fix this by putting the amplifier on the front of the cabinet and then putting the subwoofer driver directly on the back of the cabinet where the amplifier was. Okay, with all the technical hoopla out of the way, let's get to how this thing actually sounds. And oh boy, let me tell you, this thing is ridiculous. This thing has output capabilities that are simply just not possible from any other Bluetooth speaker. Obviously my camera microphone isn't going to do this speaker any justice, but the SPL and sound quality that comes out of this thing is absolutely unreal. So just take a listen. <laughs> 